This right here, people, is the Mionix Caster. If I had not done a review on this amazing mouse, then I would be doing a disservice to all the 20,000 people subscribed to this channel. Now, you may or may not have known I've been using the MX518 for a long time. That mouse, you know, wore out. Can't beat grandfather time. Then I moved on over to the G502, which was a good mouse. I will review that later. But now, I have found not just a good mouse, but the mouse right here. And this mouse right here, the most man i can't even put it into words the most amazing thing about this mouse right now is the comfort whether you want to hold it by your palm your fingertips or even the claw type there is no more comfortable mouse on this planet in my opinion than the Mionix caster now on your left hand side you have a nice little mesh rest for your thumb on the right hand side you have a rest for your pinky and your ring finger on the bottom you have two very large feet as opposed to all the smaller feet that many mouse have on four corners and as you can see right there at the bottom you know it's all about lights and gimmicks for most mice but myonics it is all about the craftsmanship sure we have lights and features and everything else but our primary concern our motto is it's all about the craftsmanship so we have six buttons your standard two on the left your right click your left click your scroll wheel and your DPI switch. Unfortunately, the DPI switch has no kind of LED indicator letting you know that you're switching from one profile to another or your DPI is going up or down. The DPI goes up to 10,000 people. Yes, I repeat, 10,000. And if you can game at 10,000 DPI, well then you are a better human being than myself or many others can ever hope to be. It has downloadable software that allows you to customize buttons and create macros. I will show you the software later. It has up to 16.8 million LED color options. And that is something that may not be important to you, but is very important to a person like me, especially when I have a Corsair K70 RGB key mechanical keyboard. It is what it is. I like colors. It's my fascination. It just drives me and attracts me to look at a product. Now again, like I said before, it has large mouse feet, and it also has an adjustable lift distance, and if you don't know what a lift distance is, it's when you lift your mouse up, because some people like to get from one corner to the other and lift it up, so my lift distance, I can about raise it a little bit, and I can still maneuver, so when I'm coming back and forth, I can get a little traction. You can change that to make it more or less sensitive, and overall, I felt like the G502 you had to kind of like push it and pull it to move it, but this thing right here is so ergonomically sound. I feel like no matter what sensitivity I have it on, it just effortlessly moves to where I want to move. But right now, let's go on and look at the software side of things. So let's take a quick look at the Mionix Caster's software settings. They're not quick or flashy, but they get the job done. Over here, you can change the double click from slow to fast. You can change your scroll speed. You can change your pointer acceleration. Your pulling rate can vary from 125 hertz all the way up to 1000. Over here, you have your key binding. So let's say you didn't want your DPI roll button. You wanted to change it to a, let's say, push to talk button. You can do that too. Now you have five profiles at the top. So if you want five different color profiles, you're playing five different games, you can save those too. Now over in the sensor performance tab, we have the surface recognition button. You can analyze the surface, whether you're using a different kind of mouse pad, a different kind of hard surface, an ice mat, steel series, whatever you want to use. Your mouse will analyze it, recognize it, and calibrate the mouse to that surface. And that is a huge deal to me because it makes everything optimal for moving your mouse and getting a smooth experience. You have a pointer speed, you have a lift distance option, which is what I was talking about earlier, where you can lift your mouse up off the ground, depending on how high or how low, you can actually still gain and remain having traction. Now you have your X and Y access over here, which lets you change the DPI settings. And one thing I found absolutely horrific and weird is that you can independently change the DPI on the X and Y access. Now why anybody would ever want to do that I have no idea, but it allows you to do it. So if that's what you want to do, you have the option to doing that. Now the color settings is obviously to me, <laughs> just jokingly saying that this is in a very important setting. You have the lights on, the lights off. You can have selective to have the scroll wheel on or this bottom part on or off, whatever you want. It has solid, blinking, pulsating, breathing. You can have solid colors. You can change all the colors. You can have a color shift. You can have custom RGB. You can do whatever you want. 
And then finally we have the macro settings. And if you're one of those people that likes to make macros, you can do that too. In closing, I cannot say anything other than this mouse right here is the absolute truth. I love this mouse. I've tried Nagas, I've tried Death Adders, I've had the G502, and there is no more comfortable mouse on the planet, in my opinion, than this mouse right here. Now, you may have issues with it if you're a G502 user or a Naga or somebody who likes to use a lot of buttons. The scroll wheel doesn't move left and right. It doesn't have a DPI switches on the front left. It doesn't have an indicator that lets you know when you're going up or down, but if you're proficient in using the keyboard to game and you just want a standard mouse that is comfortable or pleasing and has a solid quality build to it, then I don't think you can get any better than the Onyx Caster.